Hi Cancer and welcome to your December 2017 general love tarot reading. This reading is intended for singles, couples, dating. Um, it will look at all the energies in a general view for love and romance for you guys. Um, this is a general reading so it may or may not resonate with you. If you are hung up on an ex or you've been struggling a lot being single, I've already uploaded two videos this month um, highlighting both of those subjects specifically. So if you, if that speaks to you and you haven't seen those already, I highly recommend that you watch those. I've linked them in the pinned comment below this video. I've also put some affirmation subliminals in the comment as well because I believe 100% that uh, subliminals, meditations, and affirmations really do help us out. Okay, they might not be the magic key, but they really help us out and that's, you know, what matters most. Any little bit truly does help. So, um, I have also listed all the tarot decks I'm using and the meaning of their placement within the reading if you are interested in that. So, with that said, Cancer, let's get right into your reading, your love reading for December 2017. I was told that um, the romantic energies for December are going to be challenging in general. And um, you guys are the seventh reading I'm doing. And I have to say, they've all looked a bit challenging. So I hope that's not the case. Like, But we are at the end of the year. And it is time to clean up our energy. Cycles are ending so new ones can begin. Now with the old and with the new. Wedding. Wow. <clears throat> so, Cancer. Nice. This is probably the best card that's come out so far. So, yay, Cancer. Uh, some of you are going to be getting engaged over the holidays. Absolutely. Some of you are actually getting married over the holidays. This could be just like a spontaneous decision too. Okay. Um, others of you there who are married, um, your marriage, the energy between you and your spouse is really going to be your primary focus in December. So we'll have to pull more cards to see what that's actually about. But for those of you who have been dating somebody for a while, um, you guys definitely could be getting engaged in December. Um, that's just the main thing that's jumping out at me. So let's pull tarot cards because um, I also kind of... I'm getting the feeling that maybe some like somebody from your past is getting married and you might find out about it and that might just kind of be a big deal like um, you might be with somebody new now and and like all of that but just hearing that information might upset you a little bit okay or if you're still really hung up on somebody and you hear that they're getting married that might make you a little bit sad so like I said, many different energies that can come from that card since this is a general reading. So let's see what is going on, Cancer. So maybe this could just be on your mind and it could be an ultimatum at this point if you have not been proposed to by your um, significant other. You could be like, you know what? If, if you don't want to marry me now, you're never going to and it's over. I, I'm just, I'm not playing this game. Wow, so we have the Five of Cups reversed. Nice. I like that. If that was upright, I'd be a little bit sad, but it's reversed. So we like it in that position. We have the Sun reversed and then the Tower reversed. Okay, so yeah, definitely here. Um, some of you are going to hear about somebody from your past that they're getting married or they got married. Um, with the Five of Cups reversed, I don't feel like it doesn't throw you into an emotional tizzy, but it's something that you definitely feel emotionally, but I don't feel like you're sharing it with anybody, okay? And it's almost like a shock. It could be a shock to you that it even inspires any emotion, or it could be a shock to you that... Um, 
they're even getting married, okay? So there is an element of that. Um, for others of you, this could be where you are at the end of your rope with your partner and you've put it out there if you're female. Um, or, you know, even if you're male, if you're in a gay partnership, um, and you've been like, look, we're going to get, you're either going to marry me or I'm done. Like, you either want to or you don't. Um, I feel like it comes, okay, and you don't see it coming. You don't expect it because the reverse, reverse tower is about a shock, but it's an expected shock. So you getting proposed to is something you kind of, ex like, we'll say you hope for, but it's not exactly what you expect. So, yeah, it's not going to be so shocking um, to be proposed to because that's your wish, but at the same time, you're partner actually doing it and keeping it from you and like it being a surprise type thing okay so and then finally the tears are dried so and it doesn't just have to be um proposing and getting married this could also just be about moving in together you know taking things to the next step the like next level and your partner could have been resisting but in december i really feel like that that energy changes or you could have been resisting your partner, and I feel like your energy changes. Um, others of you, I feel like you kind of, um, you have the very high potential of just meeting somebody out of the blue, out of nowhere, and it's like instant connection, okay? So if you're a hermit try to get out as much as you possibly can in December and when you're out make sure you're looking your best because seriously with this energy you could out of nowhere like you wouldn't even see it coming it, it's something like so stupid like I went to go get gas at the gas station down the street and as I was getting gas this person pulled up beside me and we started having a conversation we just had this amazing out of nowhere connection and now here it is two weeks later and we've been dating and so it's something like that like that out of the blue where you just don't even expect it so be looking your best if you're completely single, okay? Also, um, there's a Track Your Soulmate subliminal link in the comment. and I highly recommend listening to that. Or if you have any self-esteem issues, um, listening to the self-esteem one it will really help you out. But, man, yeah. So all of you, Angel of Strength has wanted to come out twice. So... We're going to put her there to see what she's trying to tell us, okay? But yeah, she flipped over and I put her back in and then she did it again. So I was like, okay, strategy, action, flow. Oh my goodness, Cancer, I love it. So... Yeah, it's like some of you also with strategy and action. Um, are you kidding me? Some of you cancers are planning to propose. It's coming through so strong in your cards. And with the strength card here, um, your partner could be a Leo. Okay, because we have the lion here. Or... Um, you, it could be really hard for you to keep this quiet, keep this a secret, because we have strategy here. Um, or it's taking great inner strength inside of you to say, yes, it's time for us to take the next step and move forward. So really awesome energy. Um, if you're a Cancer where your partner is like, resisting you, you this here change up your strategy like there's an action on your behalf that could really change things okay um and once this action is done by you then it's time for you to allow the universe to do its thing okay because then it ends here with yin yang and you know with the reverse tower here i think you're gonna like the outcome the ultimate outcome but it's gonna take some patience and some inner strength. Some of you might have to outright leave your mate, break it off and be like, you know what? That's it. I'm done. You don't want to move forward. I'm done. 
and it takes a lot of inner strength and patience, but ultimately, I feel like they come back round and say, you're right, you know what, you deserve a commitment, or we have been together five years, you do deserve me to marry you, like it's time, or you deserve for us to finally move in together, okay? Um, but for you singles, you know what, for you singles, if you are invited to a wedding or any family gathering, whatever, whatever you're invited to in December, go and look your best. Like I said, I feel like out of nowhere you could meet somebody. And if you're at one of these events and you see somebody and it's just like the universe is part of the heavens for them, you know, go over, talk to them, but just be casual. Don't be pushy. Don't be forced full on any level if the energy will just naturally flow and you guys will connect exchange numbers whatever okay so wow cancer you just got your guys as reading honestly looks really good compared to everybody else's that i've done it just you guys look happy surprises coming out of the blue um if you see somebody that you're interested in definitely take action Go up and, and talk to them. Make sure you got a, a good opening line, okay? Have a good strategy going on. And then once, once the magic happens, just flow from there, okay? Just flow. This is like the, the card of you guys, the cancer, the crab, the yin-yang, okay? Just flow, flow, cancer. Allow love. Look through the situation. And trust. Yes. So, you guys um, who are putting the ultimatums out there, like, you just have to trust by putting your foot down that things are going to go in your favor, okay? You just have to trust that. Um, for others of you, with this look through the situation, you know, make sure that you're not being stubborn or um, unreasonable, okay? If you have things that you desire and want, make sure you're not being stubborn and unreasonable towards your partner, okay? Um, if they're giving you all they can give you and they're truly not ready to move forward, then you, you, tr you can't push that. And if you guys do need to break up because you're ready, then, you know, trust that you need to break up for now. Um, you know, you have the strength to do it. But overall, um, those of you who meet somebody and you might be kind of standoffish to them, let it in. Like, December just looks really good for you guys. So, seriously, enjoy yourselves. Have fun. Um, you know, don't, like I said, don't. Don't be forceful. Don't try to go against the flow. But definitely when action is required on your behalf, execute it and you will not be disappointed. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. I'm hoping you guys have a fabulous holidays, a wonderful new year. Take care.